Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 Alternate USA. Here we are with grain, making a lot of money, which is really nice. So nice when it actually makes a lot of money to haul raw materials around. I'm hoping it's gonna last, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I should go to Tulsa pretty soon, probably as soon as this comes in. Actually, no. As soon as this comes in, I'm going to run a second train. Because, <laughs> let's see, Omaha still has... 5.6. We're doing, what, four at a time? Yeah. No, we're doing five. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, and also i got to run a regular train from Wichita down to Oklahoma City, too. Well, that can wait until I get Tulsa, too, and then it can just do a little loop back and forth. Uh, right now I got 142. Okay, let's copy this now. This is what I mean by running a lot of trains. I mean, we're, we've been playing for a few years and already, well, six years now. Wow. Time flies. Um, but I'm already, I'm, I'm up to nine trains. <laughs> and we're just starting. Do I still need a maintenance facility here? Yes, I do. Well. Yeah. It's the Tulsa train. Then I won't have to put one in Tulsa if I put one here. Very soon I'm going to have to start worrying about double track, actually. I'm going to double the towns right now. Because, uh, like, like I just said, a lot of trains. When you're running a lot of trains, you need double track. It's a much bigger deal when you're running so many trains. Another large station, that's just how it's gonna be. I'll do Tulsa from here, that way I can utilize that water tower. Oh, then I won't even have to build a water tower. Cool. Yeah, see? They're all they're running each other over like crazy. I think, even though that's not where we just saw them run over each other, the water tower should probably be doubled. Probably from the water tower back into Wichita, except the bridge right now. I like that, just issue as much as you can, I think. Of course, I think that might come down to come back to get you later on, but I need the money. Okay. On to Tulsa we go. So the thing with uh, something where it requires you to haul a lot of a certain good, like say grain, is um, the way the I guess the economy or the way the the loads work and stuff. The load engines, whatever it's called. Um, yeah. If you haul a lot of something to one city, like right now we're hauling a lot of grain to Oklahoma City, eventually. Um, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. Well, oh, that could be an Atlantic. No. No, that's that's the little feeder train? That's a zero. I never applied it? Wow. Well, that's a little back and forth. Yeah, that could be an Atlantic. Oh. No money. Well, all it does is go back and forth between Omaha and Des Moines. I guess I'll get it later. 
But anyway, what I was trying to say yay, is that um, eventually the town that you're sending all this grain to is not going to want it anymore. It gets oversaturated. Almost a million. Texas is neutral, but it didn't go down. Did it pop up telling me how much I hauled? I didn't see it. I guess maybe they give you a year. But anyway, um, it'll get oversaturated. So, like, if you're hauling a crap ton of grain down from Omaha to Oklahoma City, eventually that plus 13 is going to turn into, like, plus 2 and then even negatives. And if it goes into negatives, it won't haul. The trains won't haul it. So basically, you can't just connect to one city and just haul everything to that city. You have to diversify. That's why I, I'm going to have a regular train now between uh, Wichita, Oklahoma City, and, and um, over in Tulsa. And then pretty soon, as soon as I can afford it, I'm going to connect down to Wichita Falls, which is in Texas, and even down to da Dallas, especially because there's a crap ton of livestock there anyway. And um, so basically, you need to you need to connect up a bunch of cities and have a lot of trains even running between those cities, just to balance out where everything goes. Because if there's too much grain in Oklahoma City, hopefully the regular train will take it from Oklahoma City down into the other cities, and uh, that'll keep the demand up. But uh, it gets tricky with places with countries that don't have as many cities like. Uh, one we're going to, Louisiana. There's Memphis, Little Rock, Jackson, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. No, not Jackson. And Memphis, that's right, that's Dixie. So there's just St. Louis, Little Rock, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. That gets tricky. Anyway, right now, I can't get this train running. Oh, out of money again. I I don't have to build more facilities and stuff, there's enough on this line. Okay. Yeah, just kind of a local back and forth. Five. Oh, that's pretty good. Green I hold down there. I don't think it told me and I skipped through it. Pretty sure it didn't. Should have been five. Unless both trains made it. I think this train, see, instead of Oklahoma City, I'm thinking maybe Tulsa. Because Tulsa's already a dollar lower, but now, now they both dropped down one. See Dallas is 21 down there. Now let me just uh, get down. I think I want to just keep getting down to the other cities there. The Express. You're making money. Not a whole lot. It's something. Everything's something. We're at almost 500k. We're doing pretty good. Just gotta keep building and keep connecting. And keep running trains. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Just keep running more and more trains. And then that's when it gets a little crazy. Once again, I do not believe I'm gonna be able to use a medium. Oh! Yeah, but it doesn't cover that. really have to cover it. Technically with things that's not passengers. <coughs> Sorry. With things that's not passengers, so technically uh, the cargo will just make it there. I think it'll be fine. I'd really like to save 100 k Especially since I'm going to have to build a maintenance facility down here. Yeah, the 
this will probably be another one, just Wichita, Oklahoma City, and Wichita Falls, and eventually uh, Dallas. Although Dallas will probably just be another train, just straight Dallas to Wichita. But first, grain 2.8. I'm not hauling any grain directly out of Des Moines, but there is the little back and forth train that's probably doing it. Because grain from Des Moines, I think, wants to go over to Wichita. Wichita Falls, yeah, what Wichita Falls plus 23 nice. Maybe even Oh, there's more grain farms here now. Good. Let's see. Oh, it's all going over there, so I gotta definitely make another feeder train. Let's see, can the medium cover all this? Yes. such a bad, okay, good. I get in such a bad habit with hitting apply all the time and screwing up these custom cargos because you're so used to just setting it on auto. You just can't do that too much in this one. So, 3.0, huh? I guess I'll start the train and I can wait a little bit. It looked like a pretty good price for Des Moines. Keep it a little lighter on the way back. Not quite. Come on. Money. I still gotta do the Omaha to Des Moines train back. That's right. <laughs> I just remembered. tempted to go up to Grand Island just to get that train to three towns to go to, but I don't think there's much up there yet, so... You have to keep up with it so much more in this scenario than usual with, you know, how much cargo is where. 8.4 corn. That's good. Yeah, Omaha is going to have so many trains running through it, it's going to get kind of ridiculous. But it's just, <laughs> just the nature of the scenario. Ten loads. We need to haul 25 to get it better, though. So we still need more work here. Good. So income over a million. Very good. And, uh, Texas, yeah. Think about it. Okay, 
six loads of grain there, or the grain train, so. No, you're waiting for passengers, that's fine. They're still on their way down. Screw it, let's start another one. This is how it goes, and, and probably the next thing I want to do after starting this next grain train and uh, you know, making some money is probably doubling this whole line, just about, because this is a lot of trains. Oh, and here we are. Omaha's grain, negative one here, negative nine here, plus one here. We need to get down to Dallas. Yeah, let me do that. And, um, I don't know if it's because of mods or what, but even though it says plus one, it won't haul it at plus one. It should. It should not haul it at zero, but haul it at plus one. I think it waits until plus two. Which sometimes can be a little annoying. Now we gotta get down to Dallas, which is annoying. Because <laughs> Dallas, as you can see, is kind of like down in a bowl. so glad I have the extra locomotives and stuff because without that without that Mastodon locomotive I don't know what I'd do. Can you imagine trying to run an Atlantic up and down this hill? You, you couldn't do it. You'd have, you'd have to electrify at least some stuff. I would anyway. Or I'd be running consolidation still. Still trying. I mean, I know I have the mass dots, but still, I'm, I'm trying to do pretty good with the grade here. And of course, it depends on how the town was laid out. Need to come down a little further. Get past that house. I'm very stubborn about bulldozing houses to get stuff out of my way. I don't want it. I don't like doing it. Even when it's a big town with a lot of houses to spare, I still don't like doing it. Uh, I can't go up that way. I really need to come in all the way around there, don't I? Well, I hope you guys missed track building, because <laughs> here we are. through Dallas, is that what it is? It's because of these buildings, it, it's, and of course it's always randomly generated where the buildings are going to be. But when they build the buildings, it makes that little, the little bumps that they're sitting on, and that just screws it all up. What about terrain levelers? Yep, I'm gonna break out the terrain levelers, levelers already. Of course, they can always backfire. Look here. I'm down that hill. Okay, now fill in this hole. <laughs> Hopefully. A lot of times it's really hard to tell if it's going to bring it up or down. That brought it up, it looked like. I can live with 1-4, I think. But not much more than that. Kind of get it okay by bending it that way, but then there's a dairy processor in the way.
a little tricky. It's, uh, it's a lot of playing with these terrain levelers. Gotta put one right in between here, I believe. Remember that much. with the game enough, anything's possible, basically. Yeah, see, then it's a mess here. So you go to here, and then you put in another train load. There. <laughs> see how much the ground is flexing around. I don't really consider this cheating too much, because it's really, it's just kind of silly how much the ground moves around sometimes. I did that without a 4 last time. I put another leveler in there or not. I think I thought I was going to have to, but I did there. there but really, I mean, if you're a rail ra railroad and you see those big hills around and stuff, you would go through the work of leveling it out. You wouldn't just say, oh, it's, it's just gonna, you know, make a big angle and it'll be alright. No. There. There, there, there. Done. Where's north? There. Okay. That's pretty good. But that's a pretty good climb. That's a lot of threes for 1913. So it's definitely... Oh, that's a four definitely a really good climb. That's, that's going to be no way other than uh, Mastodon. No way you're going to try to run a passenger train out of Dallas, not north anyway. Okay. Large. And I did not test this out because I didn't have the money. I still don't have the money. I have 34k and that's of course 200,000 so gotta wait for a train to come. Once again, that other oil refinery, I think, will be okay. It doesn't have to actually be covered. Let's see what happened. Four. Uh, between videos, I'll play with it and see if I can get rid of it. You know, with another leveler. I'm just afraid to do another leveler and mess everything back up and end up with a bunch of sixes and nines and crap. Uh, anywho. See water tower, of course not on the slope after you get up. Like right here. You don't want to stop it for water while it's trying to climb up the grade. That should be good. There's probably another one here. And we'll do one and see what happens. Facility. I'm not going to put another one in this facility in yet. Okay. Now this is from Omaha, right? To Dallas. Oh, green. Yes, and that's the only place it will go right now is Dallas. Come on, make me some money. Also, I've noticed when you're running so many trains, cash flow is a real problem. Because, you know, it, co it costs... That's what I need. It, it costs money to run a bunch of trains, so... You're spending a lot of money on all the trains, and then you're waiting for them to all come in. So it's kind of feast or famine a bit here and there. Ah, uh, it's straight to Dallas. Especially when you've got all these long hauls. And this is nothing compared to how much longer the hauls are going to be. You know what, I'm going to make a way for five to get down to Dallas. Tempted on six cars on the way down. It's mostly downhill on the way down. Yeah, we'll try it. Green. On the way back, two of four. Need the speed to get back and get more green. of any money anyway, so I guess we'll watch it. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, I think next step before much of anything else is to just double 
double track probably all the way to uh, Wichita. We're running a lot of trains already. It's train 12 now. Oh. Just starting. I'll watch this for a little bit and then I guess that'll probably it, be it for the uh, 25 minutes. I'm trying to not make them too long and failing already. This is. This might be a long form LP. Just the nature of the beast. cycle through and see what everybody's making. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Look at all that diesel coming back from Kansas City. That, you know, from, from Wichita to Kansas City. That makes sense. It's coming from Texas. That's nice. And uh, probably in between videos I'll make sure I set up a local train between Dallas and other Texas towns there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. I'll see you guys next time.